Hi, fellow hat trickers. Welcome to another hat trick live stream. Today, with the first of a series of episodes about mentoring, as you probably already know, in hat trick, the mentoring program is something in which an experienced user can help new users with their teams. They can take a look at their squad, training, stadiums, staff, youth teams, and give some advice to improve each and every area in order to be more competitive in the future. And that's what we're going to do today here with our CEO, H.T. Johan. Hi, how are Hello. you? I'm great. Thank you so much. It's good to be back in school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you've opened a new team in Tahiti, right? That's true. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little cold here in, in Europe, so it's nice to go to the Pacific. <clears throat> yeah, so I think maybe you have forgotten how to play the game because you seem to be needing or asking for a mentor. Yeah, you know, I think like the main problem is, is uh, you know, apart from time, but, but also that you learn to play the game. I learned to play the game in 1998 and some things have changed uh, since then. So um, I'd like to... Um, uh, I'd like to get the um, the industry standard, you know, what uh, everyone should know in 2024. <clears throat> so we've asked one of the greatest mentors we have in the game to help you upset a team to achieve your objective. This mentor has helped already 139 teams so far and has an average rating of five out of five. So that's a hundred percent satisfaction rate. So let's welcome this successful mentor. So here he is, is Dema Junior. Hi, Dema. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and especially what you're doing, not only with mentoring but with your YouTube channel and all the things that you do? I think you have a podcast too. Yeah. Just quickly. For sure. mm -hmm. uh, I think I started in 2020 during the period of COVID when a, a lot of users, Atric users, I think, uh, started. Uh, Atric helped us in th that phase. In that phase, I joined the, the I improved the involvement on, on, on the game. And uh, I met a lot of people because there are a lot of community in parallel of the game, also in the chat, in Discord, Telegram, etc. So I understood that uh, was a uh, nice to support some uh, user through the mentorship and the tutors um, tool, let me say, inside the game. And I started and uh, it's uh, a lot of years now that I'm supporting some users. And uh, for that uh, reason, sometimes the questions were always the same. And so I decided to open the, to do some videos that were supporting me to already, let me say, answer to the common question, let me say. I, I just started because Atric is so, uh, there are, inside the game, there are really a lot of uh, topics, different way to play. So the manual is really huge to, to, to build. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um... This will be like a lesson. We have like one hour lesson today. Really? And if we're not finished, we may continue next week, maybe. We will see. And maybe I think we should know, first of all, Johan, what are you looking for? What do you want to do with your team? What do you want to achieve? Right. Um, well, I mean, first of all, I think we need to... Um, um, uh, you know, look at the emergency that is the team because we're like four weeks into the season and um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm five rounds into the season and I've lost a lot of ground already. So uh, we should we should have started a few weeks ago, I think. Um, I, I want to avoid a total embarrassment this, this first season. I don't think I can aim for promotion anymore, but... Um, uh, you know, get me in good shape for, for, for next season. That's, that's, um, that's the goal. And um, to, to get, um, I guess, a training regime going. So um, there's some future uh, to this team. Um, then, um, then um, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to, you know, 
discussing formation and to see uh, what do you think is the best way forward uh, for me and and staff and all that. So um, uh, the situation right now, uh, we can have a quick look on the, uh, the team uh, if you allow me to share <clears throat> yeah. where we are right now. So. Yeah, as you see, we have <coughs> managed to get four points in five rounds, and that was uh, the last week's win here against the uh, bot. <laughs> uh, so, um, so uh, yeah, we have some work to do. Uh, but, but we have an interesting game here coming up against uh, Il Event, which is uh, it's another um, not so successful team in, in the series here. So maybe, maybe there's a chance. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, back to you, Dema. Like, what is the, what's the first things you look at when when you have a a completely new team that needs needs um, a strategy? <clears throat> yeah, firstly the finance. So you have a starting budget generally when you are a new users, and I I try to suggest to manage properly that budget mm -hmm. because it's really important. Uh, the stuff because the Depending on the way you want to play, the stuff could be different, but the stuff is essential. Also, the training settings. So this, for me, is the first step before to see the, the calendar, the, the matches. For sure, we can uh, fine tuning the, the match. But at the beginning, maybe you are not uh, in a good shape. So, uh, uh -huh. firstly, stuff uh, for sure is one of uh, the key elements to see. Okay, no, I, I was afraid to make too much decisions already. So the only thing I did was I did start a youth academy, um, uh, and I have pulled uh, three youth pools uh, already. I think. Um, what do you want to see first? Do you want to go to finances? Yeah, let's see okay. how much you are rich. Yeah, how rich I am. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we have this is in, in Swedish uh, kroner then, so um, we have to maybe I should change that. Um, this is like the equivalent to 750,000 euros. Uh, so it's you, it's quite good. Divided. Sorry? For, for the beginning, it's quite good because yeah, uh, yeah. you could have also less at the beginning to 200, 300 K euro. I'm speaking mm. about euro. So yeah, we yeah. can do something. Okay, good, good. Um, and um, and staff is still very simple. <laughs> I um, yeah, I have uh, I have nothing here yet, so um, I'll leave it to you. Okay, to here we need to do, we need to do something because uh, we need to maximize uh, with the staff uh, something. Uh, firstly, the training because. Uh, uh, thanks to the training, you can improve your uh, players. That means uh, mm. for sure you can be stronger with your team, but also you can make money selling uh, some player in the future. So uh, my suggestion um, here now, uh, with the Euro, I am in a better confidence zone, let me say, but uh, I suggesting always to buy to the younger, the, to the new users and to push the, the training speed. Therefore, I suggest usually uh, the assistant coach. So buy mm -hmm. two assistant coaches. And okay. uh, so for me, we can start from that to hire two assistant coaches. And here the level. Um, yeah, and the contract length, 16? The, let's see, yes. Because uh, also these, we can say that the more longer is, uh, cheaper is mm -hmm. the, so six, 16. And we and expect here, to keep them uh, for a long time. So it's it's OK to have 16 weeks. Yes, uh, exactly. OK, and and, uh, and what about the level? The level, uh, it depends uh, on the economy. You are already with a good economy, let me say, because you have a good starting budget. And I am I, I like push the train. Therefore, from my mm. point of view, you can start also with level five. But mm -hmm. here the users depends. If you have a few um, budget, also you can do four. But for my point of view, a lot of time I suggested always to push uh, with five uh, level from the beginning because this is my way to play. There is not only there is not only one common rule. For my point of view, five is a good uh, also for your economy in this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll, I'll hire the first one on a five. 
um, and then maybe and yeah to, to clarify we are buying two assistant coaches uh, means uh, that we are building a team that is new that push the training that uh, uh -huh. uh, increase the training speed there in other step maybe not now in a competitive mode can be yeah. a different uh, composition but for this stage for me is the main important things to do this is, is, is there never any any time when a new user should choose another strategy like to to the, buy yes. old players, for example. <clears throat> Dep depends also on, your, on the time that depends on some, could be a new country, okay? So maybe mm. in your case, but, and if you want to be competitive from the beginning, you can have completely another time uh, kind of strategy. Um, have a competitive stuff that means maybe you buy the psychologist that support, uh, we are going uh, in a difficult, uh, we are going in a course really advanced, mm -hmm. but anyway, the four coach support the, the form of, uh, of the team, uh, the psychology support the team spirit and the confidence that support the ratings of uh, the team. Uh, and uh, if someone start from the beginning, the country could be a good strategy, have a competitive staff. Oh, but, you have you need really time to follow the market to buy the senior player to to be competitive if you have mm -hmm. maybe less time you want to manage in a good way weekly with good timing uh, i think that focus on the training is the best way to learn also the game and for example i live in italy i have a, a big country really with a lot of uh, senior team that have a different kind of uh, economy because they have uh, older uh, teams and this could be also in other country like this and uh, in that uh, countries if you start at the beginning you need for sure to leverage on the training speed mm -hmm. okay yeah. right so okay so i'm gonna hire a second one um and um um the, would it, would it be bad to like go for a four level here or uh, I'm just a little concerned. I just want to check like what is my yeah uh, weekly uh, expected profit here. So I'm I'm a, I had a home match right. So I'm making one hundred thousand euros in profit, uh, but that's gonna be um, uh, next week. I'm gonna make a loss. Uh, so let's see here. No, I was making also the be weekly. You can see always uh, check the be weekly. Important to see uh the trade-off yeah right uh there okay so i'm still making a good profit here <clears throat> yeah so maybe i take your advice then and um i hire fifth level you need to use you need to use your money yeah exactly <laughs> there we go i'm okay. curious to see if in the chat in the future someone will tell an opposite uh, version because uh, i'm curious to see also that uh -huh. anyway now from my point of view, I suggest always to buy the medic. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, uh, it's okay for my point of view also the medic level four to have a little bit of. Uh, uh, let me say you, you can save some money in the bi weekly. Yeah. And like this, for me is, uh, you are in a phase in which you focus on the training speed. You have two assistant coaches plus the medic that support. You can we can see in the below really easy to understand all the mm, bonus that you have thanks to this stuff so yep. it's really easy and that's it and basically the medic is is now um uh, countering the increased injury risk of uh, having these extra assistant coaches so um i'm, I'm not gonna have uh, that many injuries should i hire a fourth uh, staff member or or um is this okay for now for for now for me is okay you will save money maybe in the future for now in, for me is the priority is understand the team understand other settings maybe okay. if you want to win we can buy others but now mm -hmm. you are maximizing your stuff ah okay. no no sorry an important topic eh, the training um, the, the your coach my coach yes, yes. Uh, i was forgetting the main thing yeah, yeah the coach, <laughs> uh, is really important now you change in the last uh, year. I was uh, used to see solid uh, as a uh, level of the coach. Now we have uh, five levels. 
Uh-huh. And um, for my point of view, I suggest always to focus on the training speed. So I said, and you have money because uh, I, if I remember well, I don't remember in Euro, you had the 700K or yeah. mm-hmm. So you have a budget to, to handle these seven level seven. And uh, for, for this moment that you are not focusing right now to win every match, I suggest to buy to, because there is, you can choose the level of the coach. But yeah, also, yeah. Just to, to, to yeah. um, I can't use an existing player since it's a new team, right? So it has to be yeah. an external. Yeah. Um, and then I should look for solid leadership. No, in this moment, no. No, it's but too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, so I have to go. This is uh, too expensive. Should I go to in- inadequate? No, uh, in the other, uh, leadership, I suggest at the beginning, if you depends on you, eh, John, mm-hmm. depends yeah. if you want to win the league at the beginning of the season mm-hmm. or not. Because if you want to focus on the training, you can also take uh, three leadership. Yeah, three mm-hmm. leadership. So that's is the that the uh, poor? Okay, sorry, poor. poor. And mm-hmm. in this way, you take uh, with low money. Uh, the um, the solid coach that is level four now with the new uh-huh. settings that in euro it's uh, around 300k uh, uh-huh. for uh, also the other users okay okay let's do it um then we have a uh, preferred style mm-hmm. of play do you think this matters depends on uh, i use the equilibrate let me say but depends on which training you will do, uh, your style. Uh, if you are training defending, maybe it's better a defensive uh, uh, training coach. If you are yeah. training uh, other, uh, let me say, training and you are playing maybe 3 5 2, we will see maybe later, equilibrate is the better way to, to, okay. to, be, to, to manage, to handle all the matches at the beginning. Yeah. Let's, let's go for something balanced then uh, at this yeah. point. And El, uh, poor G- Kimo here is getting fired. Okay, bye bye. Um, okay, so you managed to spend almost all my money here in um, in just a few minutes. <coughs> okay, I'm happy to do that. This is uh, the first step. Step is really important. So. What should we do next, you think? We haven't really to- looked at the team yet, but um, uh, we have the staff s- sorted out. Um, do you think we should look at the training strategy? Maybe have a look at the, uh, the squad, what we have to work with? Uh, let's see the players, if you want, uh, just to see what uh, this, I imagine, is the starting lineup. You didn't touch nothing. as a, It's like the default team. Yeah. Okay. So, just a quick overview for average the player that are, uh, let me say, the default team is not so competitive. Uh-huh. Um, usually, we need always to focus on uh, to buy new players to training on. Um, sometimes, depend on the strategy and on the on the train that you will choose sometime. The only player that I um, use to suggest to keep is if you decide to train goalkeeping, uh-huh. you can have a look to a defender that is uh, young in your team. Some, usually there is a young player uh, um, defender and maybe you can convert as a goalkeeper, but really depends on, if not, uh, step by step, uh, I will uh, always buy new player from the main team to, to improve the quality of your team. Let okay. me say. So and we uh, have yeah, we have this this young uh, well youngish. Uh, he's a quick uh, defender with playmaking and winger. Um, but but uh, I mean um, yeah, I guess he should be. He's more of a wing back maybe than than yeah. a goalkeeper. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, so you don't think any of these are worth? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Is from the youngest today? Okay. Yeah, there is a. 
for example, just to comment some player, for example, the four, the number four with the uh, uh, head specialty. Uh, uh, yeah. This is like down, the... but uh, is with defending, but still is uh, a defender. Is not uh, now that you change the goalkeeper. Uh, the, now also the the goalkeeper have specialties. So yeah. uh, also the, there is also the specialty for the goalkeeper, but. Uh, I think there is also set pieces, for example, that could be a starting skill for the goalkeeper. So it's not yeah. something, depend on the budget that you have. If you have no money, you can have a second slot for the goalkeeping, that one. But anyway, this is an example of as a, uh, you can start uh, with the goalkeeping training. Okay. So let's do that. You're suggesting that we go to the training now and, yeah. and start with the goalkeeping. <clears throat> uh, this could be depends on also on your style uh, what you want to play if you want to play uh, goalkeeping it's easy because you have just to slot mm. so if you have mm -hmm. no time or uh, and anyway the goalkeeping are requested in the market so it's it's a good uh, start um, mm -hmm. with the uh, with the other training depend if you want to and also the goalkeeping is flexible because uh, you can play different lineup and you will always train the goalkeeping the goalkeepers. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, if you, I don't know, you select defending, you have a lot of training to buy, but mm -hmm. you play always with five defenders. Because, yeah. you, because as we can see in the top, you, you, you will see, you, you, we can see the, the circle that means yeah. that we can train at 100%. And this is important. We need always to maximize all the slot, both in the championship and both in the friendly matches. And so you will have 10 uh trainee in defending for example and the, so but you need to like to train defending for a long time uh, with uh line up of, with five defender if not uh, depending the other uh, for example also the last example and that's it and uh, tell me which is your favorite training uh for for the scoring for the forwards you will always play with line up with three forwards mm -hmm. so this is also to need to keep in mind yeah. So basically, what you're saying is that goalkeeping is, you know, um, it's an easy training because I only need to keep track of two players uh, that need to play every week, and it's mm -hmm. still quite profitable. Uh, de defending and uh, playmaking and scoring might be more profitable but it's a lot more work and I, I need to get i need to buy all these players that are going to get trained and make sure that they play every week right yeah so um but what do you think like let's say that now we're starting five weeks into the season and and um, how long would i need to play uh, to train keeper for it to make any sense like when can i sell my first goalkeeper and like start training something else is it can that be faster with goalkeeping or is it faster with other trainings or should i always stick with it for two seasons uh what no matter what i start training what yeah more think? or less for my point of view uh if you buy some trainee also for yeah. i speak also in general uh, for a user that uh, uh, maybe cannot stay a lot of time in the market at least one season you need to keep uh, a trainee therefore mm -hmm. as i told you an example where when i told you that to convert a defender that means that the the, the second trainee need to be for sure a goalkeeper because if not i'm telling i will suggest you to to play without the goalkeeper and you will mm -hmm. do not so much uh, values in the in the championship so uh and at the beginning in general if you play if you buy young players for sure your ratings won't be so so competitive so the, this you need to keep in mind anyway uh -huh. um really depends uh, it's if you select goalkeeping or another role it's not uh, relevant because at the beginning if you want to buy young players your ratings won't be so competitive in the first season so you need for my point of view you need to prepare your team for the next season. This yeah, is my yeah. point of view. No, exactly. And maybe uh, this season is a little bit lost anyway. So uh, but it would be fun to, you know, be able to win a few matches. Yeah. <laughs> the next season. Um, and uh, sorry to interrupt you. Another yeah. comment interesting is in the right. Your formation experience. 
in this moment you have just the 442 yep so so means that uh, if you want to select uh, select uh, some trainings uh, that maybe require another lineup in the first uh, matches you won't have the routine to to play properly and you could have uh, some confusion during the matches and we need to plan also in the friendly match to give more experience to the other lineups okay okay so let's see here i, I recently um got kicked out of the cup so i should book ah. a friendly i think for this for this week Good. so do we have anyone on the stream that wants to play in tahiti <clears throat> ah the flag <laughs> i guess the then we will they will probably all be saying damn i i'm already busy that weekend i have already scheduled a friendly or i'm in the club it's okay. monday and you're a little bit late yeah, i know i know i know okay so if we don't have anyone uh, saying that i'm gonna put myself in the pool um uh, yeah that there i'm gonna make someone happy here let's see what we have um yeah, not only playing in Tahiti, but also playing against Johan. Yeah, I'm gonna make it uh, one of one uh, one of your friends here from Italy. Uh, ah, okay, there we go. It's well. Okay, yes. So we have a friendly match. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not sure. I I might. It's a little bit boring to play goalkeeping to to train goalkeeping. I mean, I, I was kind of looking forward to buying a few players to okay. to have have more pop up, pop ups during the season than uh, just the keepers. Do you think it's stupid to to choose something else or? Um, no, absolutely. No. Uh, uh, I I suggest I I love a winger uh, training. Uh -huh. because uh, it's the, I really like because I think you can make money is faster you see the pop-up soon so uh -huh. oh defender you have a lot of player and you see a lot of player skill up but it's a, a little bit longer winger uh -huh. is you have four uh, main core uh, players and they skill up really quickly and you will make money for my point okay. of view. that's great then then let's do that um... ah. Let's play play, uh, yeah, play wingers. And what's the best uh, formation for that? Do you think? Uh, you can uh, really leverage in a lot of them because mm. at the end uh, you will train uh, always the wingers. I think that uh, you build the game uh, in a way that uh, for sure you need uh, three five two as lineup mm -hmm. because uh, it's the most also considering that we select the equilibrate uh, coach. Uh, so I think we should uh, for sure uh, push uh, three five two. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, I'm gonna start with the inner midfield, maybe, uh, to get the best. Yeah, here we have this guy. Do uh, you have any interesting wingers or wing backs in your team that are young? Maybe mm -hmm. you can. I, was, I mean, there was one that looked kind of okay. Uh, let's see here. 26, yeah. oh, 19. This is Alexi Lalas, right? Uh, he looks yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, so he gets to play, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then 22, 18. Uh -huh. I mean, th this guy could also. Yeah. I, mean, I, I might not have time to buy any trainees until tomorrow anyway. So uh, I'll put him in there. Um, and then. Uh, we need wingers, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we have here? 20. I mean, that's not too bad. It's okay. And then this guy is 22. Okay. It's also quick that for a winger is really interesting. So, yeah. Makes sense. Um, the forwards, they don't get any, any training. No. From now, no. you already, uh, now you filled the player that uh, will be training this week. That mm -hmm. means the winger at 100% and the wingbacks at 50%. Okay. Now you just, you can have fun to... Yeah. To... See, so this guy I should put in the... 
we have two two forwards. Um, this guy is injured already, so he doesn't get to play. And then we have uh, the rest of the midfielders. This guy can play, and this guy can play, I guess. Maybe he should go, I don't know, he should stay central. Yeah. Okay, and then defender. Yeah, this is just to fill up. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe this guy is better. He's a header. Uh, I could put him in there as offensive, maybe. What do you think? Can you show me the, the skill, please? Well, yeah, it's uh, he is uh, putting. Uh, um, it's the same. It's a friendly mm. match in general. Anyway, you have uh, uh, the um, the head have uh, playmaking because you have mm. six playmaking. So put in uh, offensive can make sec could make sense because you are supporting the midfield and the, the midfield is important. Yeah. Okay. And here, yeah, let me let them be like they are. Okay, so then I'm just gonna fill this up here. Um, he's injured. He's also injured. <laughs> okay, they're all kind of crappy. These guys here. Uh, yeah, three, three injured players. Uh, that's actually we should fix so that they don't show up here. It's it's not that good actually in terms of. Uh, we should at least see that they're injured from from that view. And that's it. Uh, you don't have any more. No, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just have to say a comment. Sorry, mm -hmm. but uh, is uh, I am the mentor in this moment. So, mm -hmm. um, can you show me another time the Winbex that we selected? Yes. Okay. And can you also the other quick one, please? The opposite. Okay, is the younger one, and now the two wing. Okay. Um, and also the la the opposite one, just to to show. Okay, now we saw the skill. Every um, oh. everyone saw the skill. My point of view here is is a friendly match. You are not. Um, we don't we don't need to win in the friendly match in general. Uh, we need to leverage on the training speed. Therefore, from my point of view, we need to switch the wingbacks to the wings. Just oh. not you be you put the right players in the right position. Uh -huh. the skill. But. Uh, in this moment, we need to leverage on the training speed. So the 100% spot that are in the wings are more important. And so for this reason, I'm suggesting you to uh -huh. switch. So he goes there. there. Yeah. And uh, uh, also the on this. Yeah, of course. OK. And that's it. Just to do this comment. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, I'm going to send this. Uh, now with that movement that you did with that position swap, you set one of the wingers as defensive and the other as offensive. I think it was by mistake. I don't know if you want to correct it. Nah, nah, nah. Really, the wings are or normal or toward the middle. This is a common rule that we should know everyone. Every Yatric user you should, should, uh, should learn uh, with this experience. Always uh, or normal or toward the uh, middle. Okay, so he should maybe be normal, but this yeah. guy maybe should be toward the middle. Uh, but is a good example. Uh, yeah. Also, the users that are looking at us, when you put toward middle, uh. you see that uh, the midfield is not um, improving. Therefore, yeah. uh, no need. Depending on the skill of the player, if yeah. uh, this guy who was with more playmaking, for sure, he could have a boost. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now it actually improves on the wing here, but it, I, we don't lose anything on the midfield by keeping him normal. So that's great. Okay, I'm gonna send. Done. Um, team orders. Yeah, maybe this is uh, too advanced for now. Yeah. Um, so we just um, have a look. Uh, okay, this is not gonna be an easy match. Uh, <laughs> well, you're, seeing, you're seeing the league stats i don't think oh. we'll play with that team but anyway no, that's <laughs> if you click on on the match below that the one that's yeah. selected uh okay yeah. still still good 
Okay, great. So that's sorted out. Um, so I was thinking maybe you could give me some homework uh, to to look for some uh, players to buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Denise. Yeah. For me now, firstly, do you want to buy young players? And uh, this means that your strategy will be a little bit uh, looking at the next season, at least, because if you buy young players, for sure in this season, uh, we can buy some players, etc. But uh, uh first you need to know if you need to tell me if you want young players and the first step i think we can focus on the core players that means the 100 spot as a first step well i think we already this decided or i think it makes sense that's to not focus so much on this season um maybe like what i need to do in the next few days is to buy the trainees uh, because i'm not gonna Maybe one of, of these players I will continue tr training, but I think I should get some better trainees, right? Um, yeah. And then um, maybe if you th you know could think of like one or two impact players that I might afford that could still be worth uh, buying now. I don't know, but um, it it could wait a few weeks also we, i mean we could uh, maybe take that on the next stream and uh, see yeah. what can i do to improve the team this season <clears throat> so like if we if you just think about trainees what what kind of um what kind of price level and what kind of you know age and and skills should i should i focus Usually, on I, think? I suggest to buy young players uh, uh 17 18 years old mm. um, quick or add for the wingers because in this time we decided to train wingers oh anyway to train mm. wingers as skill uh, so, and uh, that's it and um, after that uh, for the budget uh, we can also see what the market is offering and then we can, can decide later and a skill, sorry, because it's important. Um, really, I suggest some, this uh, suggestion is a uh, focus on a good player that will be good in the future, but right now is uh, won't support you so much in the ratings. Uh -huh. And uh, I select usually six, 16 years old from six playmaking to let's check eight, but depends on your economy. Uh, so first uh, skill for a winger is uh, for sure winger skill from six to okay. eight and also uh, playmaking from six to eight because these two skills for a winger are the main important one not okay. only that ones and ah you did something really good because with the new update uh -huh. with the skill search that until last month was not available is really useful because also user like uh, uh, with winger skill, you see all winger playmaking, defending, and passing, and are the mm. skills that uh, are impacting the winger uh, role. So it's perfect. Yes, we have a. Um, I have a, a, a HT member that will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> who, who Good came Daniel. Up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay, and defending, we don't need to, to care about. Uh, right. uh, so let's see because we don't we don't need to spend so much uh, money so let's see what mm -hmm. the market offer so should i put um the the, the maximum i don't want to spend everything in one player so what do you think i should look for as the maximum bid here Two, three uh, million or... I, I am really strong with my real tutored uh, people mm -hmm. i i tell them you need to buy to pay really really few euros because mm -hmm. uh, we need to maximize the training and we need to preserve the money but mm -hmm. here we can say i don't know uh, let's put just to see the good players uh, now I, I tell you in euro mm -hmm. i don't know swedish uh, uh, um, mm -hmm. for the beginning for your economy i think 100k maximum for each for the core players because at the beginning okay. you don't need the uh, really strong players you need to focus okay. on we, you should spend uh, in my last tutorial we mm -hmm. were looking to players with from zero to 10k euro so okay okay, okay. i put one hundred thousand k here as the as the maximum then um 
And then let's see here. We have uh, this looks like an Italian. Um, so, mm. so the younger the better, obviously. Yeah. Uh, also, would be nice if it's uh, someone we could bid for now. Um, well, uh, this one is a. Uh... I think it would be nice if they have already some skills like developed, right? Like mm. if you're not gonna, well, I know the idea is um, them. Um, are you suggesting kind of cycle training the wingers or or more focusing on winger? Because if you're focusing on winter it's, in winger, it's good that they have some playmaking and passing if you're not gonna train them. You are right, you are totally right. Here, uh, also an uh, user in general, I need to think uh, really um, more sub all the, for example, just have a look at the, can you go a little bit up? We are speaking about young players, okay? The all Netherlands one, you see average is a good, with a good level of passing, defending mm -hmm. also five was better, but anyway, you see that is called multi-skill, means mm -hmm. that, as Chase was saying, that uh, at least you you will focus on winger, but at least it's better in the other skill. So this, for example, is a uh, is a, a good concept. But for example, um, if we, for example scoring is not relevant for the ratings of um. the winger. So also this you need to keep in mind. This is just relevant for the special event. So this is another story that I think in this moment uh, we can also uh, don't focus on that. So. You are right, Chase. And uh, so um, for me, at least we need to focus on the 17 years old to make profit because uh, you will train them and you will make money. Uh, maybe someone you want to keep and uh -huh. someone you want to sell. So um, it's important to, to pay less possible, to skill up the player and maybe I will sell everyone, but maybe in this tutorial you want to keep someone, maybe uh -huh. two one add one quick to have diversified the, the specialties yes. and the other two maybe you can sell them so you can make money and mm -hmm. improve your team for example okay and so at least 17. yeah i was thinking the same um maybe we should just exclude the 18 year olds oh we can't can we do that uh, and there were a couple of questions here in the chat about technical and unpredictable wingers. Technical, uh, technical no. Technical, uh, no. Because also they are not doing the event against uh, mm -hmm. head uh, winger. Uh, the unpredictable uh, makes sense because they, are, they have no malus in the meteo, but in weather, sorry. Um, but in the last year, with the, the Italian community, mainly the national team one, uh, let me say the top ones are the quick and dead for us. The unpredictable a little bit less. Why? Because they have a, a good a pro that is that they are without a malus weather, uh, and they do really good special event. But they can make auto goals, and these. Uh, it's a pro because uh, for a winger, uh, make a, a good event and make it, maybe can make an assist or a goal is good. But also you can uh, do an auto goal. So why uh, prefer uh, the unpredictable when you have the quick ones or dead ones that they are doing just uh, goals? Let me say. Or, or, so for this reason, in Italy, in this moment, we prefer these two specialty that I'm suggesting, but the unpredictable are really nice and they, with the uh, play, clear, activity, tactic, are good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great oh, I have to bid for this guy. <laughs> Sorry, I have to bid for this guy. This is a, this oh. is a, an old uh, GM from Germany that I'm a friend, a friend of. <laughs> oh, uh, perfect. So I'm going to bid for him. Um, when is uh, tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow you need morning. to wake up uh, soon. Uh, soon. You need to to, to remember to, to buy it. Yes. Yeah. It's it's uh, not that you're buying it now just by clicking on this link. <laughs> Someone may no, help you. 
<laughs> yes, yes. No, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put. We're not gonna get lost on this, and and uh, we have to. We have a hard deadline today, right? We need to finish the stream in. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so um, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna make a few bids. Maybe, maybe I, I will ask you, uh, you know, after sure. the stream uh, for uh, for it. I mean, I'm I'm my brain works like I would like to buy this guy because the name is so cool. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, that might not be the smartest move though. But he, at least he's seven in winger, so it's not too bad. Uh, and he's still also quite young. <clears throat> I have to say that you don't know what the name means. I know what the name means. Um, <laughs> okay, so it's not cool in that sense. No, it, it is, but it is still kind of cool. Um, yeah. I don't support the act. I don't, but uh, <laughs> it's a common surname in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, I'm, uh, my apology to all. Um, um, a lot of players, uh, but. Uh, uh, <clears throat> we have time until uh, now we saw the players and the skill and I think the main important thing is that we focus on the right skills. You have time until uh, Saturday to decide to, to have at least two good players to put in the championship. This is yeah. the, the homework, let me yes. say. Okay, that's the homework. Great. So, um, uh, anything else? Uh, let's see what we have. Uh, sh check the match that is coming in the weekend here. Um, hmm. Let's see here. So, okay, so he's already a little bit ahead of me in terms of power rating. Um, mm. Let's see. Mm. Can I? Yeah, I guess I can import in the previous, uh, the previous lineups. This one, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, okay. Uh, this is one. Uh, okay, this is a bad one. That was uh, not very good. Um, I can't load the one that I just submitted. Uh, yes. For the friendly. You can do. You can come back in matches. Okay, I can go and uh, save it as uh, default. Yeah. Uh, Let's see here. Ah, this is the 352. Uh, we can start from there. Let's in review. See. In review. In, uh, sorry, there we go. Yeah. Uh, and say it as standard. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then but go. for the championship won't be good because uh, we are, will have just not a good routine. So I, we need to fine tuning and put your 442 in this moment. Okay. Mm. So we need to remove one inner midfielder and decide which uh, central mm. defender. Okay. Let's see here. Which one is the weakest of these? Uh... This one is a good defender. Yeah. Yeah, he's six. This is uh, five. Five. But he's, let's see here. He's a four mm -hmm. midfielder. Okay. So maybe we take him back there, something like that. Yep. And these guys, yeah, they, they should always, they should go back also. So they're like that. Um, so where are we now then? Let's okay. see. Oh. Mm. Means that you are in the right. You are the red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe I can buy uh, one or two players until the weekend as well. Um, that could be could be interesting. Uh, can you show us uh, just uh, if the opponent is playing a different? Can you select also the previous matches of the opponent uh, uh, to see if he's changing the strategy just in the championship matches or is always mm -hmm. attacking in in one side? Okay. Is change yeah. okay. Changing, yeah. Okay, I think you just uh, the midfield is good because uh, mm. it's four for two versus four for two. So the midfield more mm. or less is the same. Uh, if we are able to find a way to cover a little bit more the side defense, mm. uh, more or less, 
as also here it depends with 442 just to say you your tactic would be not so good but with the 442 is good also play with the counter attack tactic mm -hmm. because uh, you have a midfield so you have normal action but also you, have, you can have the opportunity if you stop the action of the opponent to do some counter attacks for sure in this moment you will have a low quality of the tactic but still yeah. is a good strategy to think for the this uh, saturday okay uh, <clears throat> let's hope he doesn't see the stream um <laughs> uh, with your problem <laughs> Yeah, there Excellent. are two possibilities. There are two possibilities. If he sees this stream, he knows what you're gonna play. But if he doesn't, he's probably overconfident because you yeah. haven't paid much attention to your team, and now suddenly, bam! <laughs> Good line up. Let's speak off topic, uh, uh, offline. Okay. <laughs> Great. So um, I think I have some some work uh, to do, and uh, I'm I'm super grateful for the. Um, for the um, for the introduction here, is there anything else we should uh, cover? You think um... a lot, and, and, and we can write a book. Mm -hmm. uh, no, just uh, for the next time, I think can be useful, interesting if you want to upload some uh, plug plugin if you want because okay. uh, because there are some plugins that are, are useful when we speak to such uh, to see better things, and also suggest to, uh, to have a look always to the manual of the of the of, of a trick uh -huh. but not only the a trick manual that is easy because going just to help uh, menu and you have the manual but also the unwritten manual in the global forum where there are a lot of information that uh, uh, when you start to, to play you need to read them yeah mm -hmm. so so is there any special chpp tool that you recommend for a new yeah. user yeah, for sure, uh, Foxtrick, because uh, with Foxtrick, you have HTMS uh, points that are a value that uh, in one second you understand the level of the player, actual and potential. And so the, the thing that we were doing before, with in one second, we were understanding from the transfer market uh, which player was better than others. So this is uh, for sure for sure Foxtrick. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Maybe in the next time uh, when we speak about your teams, etc., there are uh, important uh, tools to also there that can support you to manage your uh, your team. Awesome! I look forward to to getting an intro to Fox Trick. I, I think it's about time that I uh, I use this tool. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> After all these years. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so I th I think it's time to wrap up because I promised Ro Roger that uh, that he would have time to do other things tonight uh, and yeah. not be here. <laughs> um, so we'll keep you keep you. I'll, uh, I want to keep my word. Um, but um, uh, we uh, we say so for now and um, thank you so much, Dema. It was super fun. Thank you too, guys. And s see you next week, right? Shall we do that? See you second see you. class next week <laughs> yes with the homework done eh? yes uh, we'll okay. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> great thanks a lot ciao, ciao. 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 thank you